The Estabreeze I-1500, this is the final build. We took the three blade and put it back on. We tested with the five blade 90 centimeter that came with the Estabreeze I-2000 for testing, but the results were better with the three blade. However, we went through the testing process with the five blade at 500 watt maximum uh, power. With the three blades, we can well exceed 800 every day of the week and we've even exceeded a thousand so I wanted that top end and we did test with the five blade 90 centimeter we went back to the three blade 107 centimeter so this is the final build of the i1500 to say we can close. we got low winds today they're not high they're around 20 kilometers an hour so we can see here we have an average of 20 kilometers per hour and here we can see we peaked at 30 kilometers an hour and we are at 20 kilometers per hour here so we are averaging 20 kilometers an hour with 30 kilometer gusts we got the game and computer fired up and we have low results and low wind but this should create as one can see this only started uh, shortly uh, this morning and we can see we got 0.2 kilowatt hours created today this will create in this low wind around one kilowatt hour per day uh, in higher winds because we don't have the higher winds to support this uh, in this low wind condition we can create up to as much as four kilowatt hours a day in higher winds which would be probably more over 30 uh, over 50 opposed to the 20 over 30 we're getting today but that is designed in this system hopefully for the winter time use to get that gain because the winter uh, winds uh, are in fact much much stronger than the uh, spring and fall but I don't really need this this time of year we're still in testing I could shut this down but it's only running for testing use now the i700 it's complete uh, the i1500 it's complete so I do have two out of three of the turbines completed but I got a viewer requesting information on the dump load I did in fact test SSRs this is a solid state relay but I popped two of them within 10 seconds so I went back to this uh, TriStar 60 which I'm going to show you inside so this is a 1500 watt 24 volt dump load it's five resistors 300 watts times five is 1500 watts this came from Missouri Wind and Solar it is attached to this TriStar 60 uh, these are bulletproof guys or at least in my opinion I tried the SSRs I burnt them out I'm not going back they're not a good failover idea for me I'm sticking with the TS60 I know they work uh, this is the uh, classic 200 this was in fact a sponsored charge controller so this is the solar charge controller it is a Flexmax 80 uh, when this hits full charge at 27.4 it stops this keeps going and will continue to keep going and this will engage at 27.6 at that point then we throw all power created from the turbine into dump load there is five fuses three blue ones come from the turbine the two red ones go to the TriStar 60 and the Midnight Classic 200 and this is the three phase bridge rectifier coming from the three blue fuses into the uh, bridge rectifier it's also connected to the brake so in an emergency I can brake the turbine so understanding that we move forward that uh, this charge controller is the sponsor charge controller and this is what it's used with the TriStar as this dump load but no I do not use SSRs yes I've tested with them and I've not had good luck to each their own this is the next video we got coming up this is the i2000 this is in fact a sponsored uh, turbine come from Estabreeze it is a 2000 watt 48 volt that will be in the future upcoming videos this I purchased with my own money this is the classic 250 uh, this is the CP unit the car puff it is supposed to have no auxiliary one it has no speaker but I don't need it for that because what I'm using will not uh, I don't use those if I'm using the TriStar so this will be the connection to the main powerhouse with the i2000 the classic 250 and the internet connection wireless transmission from the powerhouse to the cave or my phone in the house wherever I'm at at the time I can monitor the battery bank these are the five fuses that are used in it 
these three will go from the turbine uh, to the bridge rectifier it's here and these two will go to the charge controllers one charge controller is for one fuse is for the classic 250 the other charge controller will be for the TriStar 60 this is the dump load for it there is the same dump load resistors for 48 volt they are 300 watt there's seven of them for 2100 watts in that box as well as these sponsored DC uh, lightning arresters as well as two DC 300 volt lightning arresters and one AC 300 volt lightning arrestor they will be connected as the home the main homestead on the light bulb 4 battery bank and they are in fact sponsored so we'll move forward with that testing if we look up here we can see the young fellas camp he's got the i700 it's cranking out up there it's producing somewhere around one kilowatt hour a day of energy and can produce even I've seen it hit above 1.5 uh, down here we're creating somewhere around 1.5 kilowatt hours uh, production harvest with this uh, history's i1500 but because the elevation is higher the i700 is keeping up with the 1500 and in this low wind it's uh, surprising to see that but we can't give any further results as to the watt hours over time until we get a higher wind level which we are not getting as you can see now we're sitting at 11 so the turbine is in fact spinning but at 11 kilometers an hour it's not creating any power so we had a guy or a person interested in the dump load yes I do run uh, TriStar 60s no I do not run these uh, SSRs I do not trust them uh, I've had bad luck with them now if you're gonna run them I would test them because I've popped two of them within 10 seconds so that lost all interest for me in a failover. So for them reasons, I run with the TriStar 60 and the other dump load that's uh, from Missouri Wind and Solar for the 1500 watt. We can see we're just pretty much lollygagging there at this low wind, which is now 14 kilometers an hour gust, and we are just sitting at 30 volts, which is creating nothing. However, there are some videos coming, guys. I got two out of three turbines complete. The I-1500, this video is for that. This is, in fact, complete with the three blades, carbon fiber, 107 centimeter. And the blades that came with the uh, I-2000, they were five blade, 90 centimeter. They're going to go on the I-700, and I'm going to take the I-7, or I'm going to take the I-700 blades, the 307 centimeter blades off, and they're going to marry this I-2000. I'm a firm believer in the three blade, but understanding that, the five blade will go with the uh, young fellas camp. So we will be able to compare all three turbines on the property. Eventually we will get there. We are not there yet. But at some point when we do, you can see that I'm running the, uh, the heat pump uh, for the heat, for free heat, as well as uh, I'm running the router. I'm running the little Alexa radio there. I'm running the gaming PC down here. I just charged the Blue Eddy. We are sitting at somewhere around 26.8 volts. You can see it here. We're sitting at somewhere, say, in 27 volts there. But that's because there's a charge going in or uh, a blast of power going into the charge controller, which is going to give uh, different readings. But it's very close. However, we are almost at full charge. It's not quite yet dinner time. It's early morning. We got created already 0.2 kilowatt hours. And before the day is over, we should create somewhere around 1 kilowatt hour in this low wind. The future gain of this is to say we can create higher uh, kilowatt hours as to the wintertime months but we ain't there yet so we have a lot of time to get that i2000 up with some patience guys we'll have all three turbines flying and uh, they will be for upcoming videos so the two that are complete are the i700 and the i1500 uh, once we change out the five blades from the i700 because the three blades once again are going on the i2000 we will in fact have three different turbines flying on the property for three hybrid systems using LiPo 4 batteries and three Ista Breeze wind turbines. The 700 on the camp, the 1500 on the uh, uh, the cave, and the 2000 on the main homestead. So until next time guys, uh, we'll have some further results given. We'll issue them as we know more in the testing, but we're not there yet. So a little bit of patience and we should get there. Uh, once we do, we'll give you them results, and they are coming, but as of yet, still, still testing. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching.